Welcome to Tips and Tricks. Gems Block is an Apple consultant and we help you with all of your Apple equipment and software needs. Today we're going to talk about disk utility and checking and repairing permissions. Checking and repairing permissions is a great troubleshooting feature. It's something that Apple recommends, a lot of Apple consultants recommend. When you're running into weird problems on, on your Mac, maybe software is crashing, files won't open properly, uh, software is launching but then it won't fully launch and it, it just closes down again. Some of these things can be affected by the disk permissions uh, within the system folder and your home directories. And the check and repair disk permissions functions go in and fix a lot of those things. When software installs itself it can change permissions or when you're running certain applications it can change permissions behind the scenes and sort of do things that Apple isn't really expecting or that work well with the operating system. So we're used to in the versions of the Mac OS Yosemite and earlier going into disk utility and seeing this interface here. Click on your hard drive you can verify the disk permissions. So here when we verify it, it runs through, looks at all the permissions in the operating system. And when your permissions are verified, you can see any problems the system reports to you. See, this is actually a fairly clean system and all kinds of things can be fixed. At that point, you can repair them. The system will go through each one of those areas and set the permissions back to what the factory specs should really be for those, uh, for those folders or files. All right, our permissions are fully repaired. And you can even run through this process two or three times to make sure everything's really cleared out. And that'll take care of some, some of the odd or hard to pin down problems that you can get with software on the Mac. Now, this is for a system running 10.10 .10 or earlier, Yosemite or earlier. Here we are on a computer running El Capitan OS 10.11. If we open up Disk Utility, we can see there's a Disk First Aid button, which will check the surface of the hard drive, check its integrity, do repairs, and so on, but again, won't repair permissions. So we're going to have to use the command line for that. If we even try to do basic things like resize this window, it's a bit of an irritation actually in Yosemite. We'll see uh, how things are in the next version. So if we open up terminal, we can enter some commands here to repair the permissions. So here we'll enter command sudo, which is your super user command. So you'll need to know your Mac's password to enter these commands. Slash usr slash libexec slash repair underscore packages space dash dash verify space dash 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 standard dash pkgs space slash press enter it'll ask for your password and it'll run a verify on all of your permissions just like Disk Utility did through the GUI in earlier versions of the Mac OS. Okay, so we see now that the command that we entered through the command line has found permissions that can be repaired. So we'll enter a similar command here to do the repair. So we'll enter a command to repair our permissions this time. So we enter sudo space slash usr slash libexec slash repair underscore packages space dash dash repair so this time repair instead of verify space dash dash standard dash 
pkgs space dash dash volume space slash enter that and it'll run through the repair cycle okay our permission repair is complete we're back at the command line and we've done our round of troubleshooting okay let's try this on a Mac that is running the latest operating system OS 10 Sierra 10.12 so here if we look in disk utility just like with El Capitan there's a first aid button again it does the same type of thing checks the, checks the disk for logical errors, surface errors integrity and can do those types of repairs but there's nothing in here for permissions if we try to go into the command line again in your utilities folder and terminal and we'll type in the command that we used in El Capitan and let's see uh, let's see how it goes so if you remember it was sudo slash usr slash libexec slash repair underscore packages space dash dash verify and repair if we're doing repair let's start with verify here space dash dash standard dash pkgs space slash let's enter put in our password commands not found in Sierra Apple has taken this out of the GUI in disk utility and out of the command line you just cannot repair permissions here unfortunately it's another avenue taken away as far as troubleshooting goes officially Apple's saying you don't need to repair permissions that the permissions in the system are protected but it really is a good troubleshooting method so hopefully they'll rethink this for the next OS but for now we're really kind of stuck but you can repair permissions on earlier versions El Capitan, Yosemite, Mavericks and so on so it's still a great troubleshooting method. Thanks again for watching this video. If you like, please subscribe and share. If you have any questions, put them in the comments down below. I'm actually going to put the commands in the description down below so you can copy and paste them into the terminal so you don't have to do as much typing. And if you'd like any one-on-one -on -one help, uh, check out our website, which is also in the comments. And you can get in touch with us uh, through there. We can give you one-on-one -on -one help and remote help. Again, thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe, comment, and share.